Alex Bennett here at IBC 2023 in Amsterdam, and I am on the Tinkerlist booth. I found Tinkerlist a while back. It is a fantastic piece of broadcast software. It does rundown, automation, prompter, and I'm joined by Eric, who is the CEO of Tinkerlist. Uh, so Eric, just give us a little bit of an idea of what Cues by Tinkerlist does and why you're here at IBC. All right, thank you. So uh, yeah, in Cues we want to solve a problem that people have while making a live production. So when you do a live production with a couple of people or sometimes you only do it only by yourself, but you mostly have the problem that you have uh, a lot of different documents uh, where you describe the, the project, what you, yeah, what you want to ask your guests or what you want to do in the show. It's called the rundown, right? Um, and um, also some script that you want to send to the prompter or that you want to have on some cue cards to ask a quest uh, to ask your guests, for example. So that's all gathered in different documents. And if you want to play back some clips or some graphics, it's also a big hassle to get the clips in the right device and uh, when there's a new version and so on. So the, the, what, what we made is we, uh, yeah, we, made an in, we made a rundown and an automator connected to it. So in the rundown, you can put, um, you can put graphics, you can put clips, uh, you can put the information for lower thirds, you know, the, the straps that are coming at the bottom of, uh, of an interview. Um, and it's, yeah, it's basically uh, a very user-friendly rundown, uh, real-time in the cloud, so people can work there alone or with 20 or 30 people, so no problem. And, um, and the, the cool thing about the platform is it's, yeah, it's a bit like a Google Drive document where you can type together. But uh, in between the text, you can you can create cue blocks, and cue blocks they describe a piece of technical content, like I want to start a video, or I want to show a graphic, or I want to show a lower third. Um, so producers can just put that in. Um, no difficult devices or workflows of sending media to the broadcast environment to the gallery. Um, so that's a bit what we uh, want to solve with uh, with cues. And I, if you want, I can show you. Uh, yeah. In a nutshell, what we do here. So yeah, I'd love a demo. In this uh, small setup that we have here, we do some interviews with people from uh, from IBC or interesting uh, customers. Um, and so the, the host prepares a small rundown in our platform. So the text that he wants to see on the prompter or the text that, yeah, that he wants to ask the guests. Yep. Um, and then, uh, for example, this first guest is, uh, is about NRK. So uh, we just put in the, on an NRK logo, so it browse and uploads. And then we can make sure that it's coming to the screen, for example. Then there's some text. And then, uh, then we do an interview, and then the system knows, OK, there's an interview, so I need to start cutting between the people that are speaking. So the, the, the system listens to the microphones and then cuts between uh, yeah, people so, that are speaking. So Qs can actually do video follows audio and, yeah. and actually control a mixer. What kind of mixers is it integrated with? In this case, uh, it's a vMix. Uh -huh. so, um, but yeah, we integrate with mostly anything. It can all be also uh, be a ROS mixer or uh, or the Divi of of, uh, of EVS or yeah anything. Black magic so mixes as well. Black magic, of course. Yeah. Atom, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. So and it controls the graphics. In this case, it's singular. So yep. the graphics that you will see on the screens, it's um, sent to the clouds. Hopefully, it comes back fast <laughs> enough here in uh, at IBC. But um, yeah, so and also yeah, we can also pilot VisRT or all the the big ones, but also singular. Yeah, indeed. Wow. And uh, and then so yeah so, so the system knows there's an interview and then uh, so the the host just needs to put in what's the name of the guest and a small logo to put in a lower third. Um, so the producer only puts this in once and then this automatically pops yeah. the graphics, the yeah. teleprompter and things like yeah. that. Everything is done inside of Qs itself. Indeed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a real central location and uh, of course I think you mentioned earlier on as well the fact that. This is uh, can be collaborative as well, like yeah. a Google Doc. You can have multiple producers in this in this rundown, Indeed. all working on it at once, right? Yeah. Okay. Indeed, yeah. Uh, for Riot, for example, there were like 30 or 40 people in the same rundown fighting and uh, <laughs> changing contents. But also technical people can be in there. So because for technical people, they mostly don't know uh, what have they changed or uh, where's that clip or and yeah, now they can find ev everything in a in a one centralized place. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. So if you want to automate your broadcasts. Work with teleprompters. Have you know? There's so much power inside Tinkerlist. They have very kindly given us a 30-day free trial for you, my viewers. All of the information that you need is down in the link below. So head over to the description and give Tinkerlist a try. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button because that really does help. If you want to keep up to date with all of my action from IBC 2023. 
hit the playlist in the top right hand corner now and if you want to be notified as i upload new videos from ibc hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell